What's up, nail friends? In today's video, I'm gonna do my own nails and I am going to do an autumn design. So, last month I did an Etsy haul, and in that haul, I found some really cool little butterfly <laughs> butterflies. And I really wanted to do an autumn set with those butterflies. I'll show you guys them. And I'll definitely make sure to link them in my description box because I think they're so cool. So, I wanna use these and wanna do like an autumn inspired design and use these and so yeah that's what we're gonna do on my nails today so if you guys are interested in that just keep watching okay so my nails have already been prepped. If you guys are interested in seeing how I prep them, I will link that video in my description box. And then we could just jump right in now to the design and everything else. So I am going to do these nails quite long, I think. Not sure yet how long. We'll decide together. But I'm gonna use my Glitter Balls Extreme Link tips. These are my favorite tips. First, I'm gonna size them to my nails. Okay, so. I'm fine. My two fingers are the same size. So this is a six and the six fits my, those fingers well. And then this is a five for my middle finger. And then I just need to figure out the size for my pinky as well. I think the eight is going to fit the best. Okay. Perfect. So I wanted to mention before we start that I do have some leftover color on my nail. I have some purple on my middle finger there and I have some yellow there. This is a leftover colors from my Instagram picks my nail design set. So you'll just see a little bit of that on there, but I tried to remove it all. You sometimes can't remove it all. So let's glue these on. I'm gonna use my Glitter Bells base glue to glue them. And always give your glue a good shake just so you know, you just should just shake your products before you use them, especially if they sit out. So I gave that a good shake. I'll show you what the bottle looks like. Okay, and then let's glue these on. So I'm just gonna put the product in here. And then glue that on. I love how long these are. So long. So we sell these on my site, The Nail Throne. So if you guys are interested, I always have discount codes in my description box. So make sure to check there before making purchases on The Nail Throne. Okay, so that's how they look. I always like to shape my nails before I even start. So that's what we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do. I just drop glue everywhere. Okay, to shape these, I'm just gonna use a hand file, and I'm just going to bring in my sidewalls to make this an actual stiletto. Actually, maybe I'll go. I don't know. What shape should I do? I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna taper them, and then I'm gonna file over them and try to blend that tip. But I definitely want to bring in the sides. Okay, so I've tapered those in a bit. I'm just going to, I don't know, just shorten them. So slightly and maybe do like long coffin nails I don't know what do you guys think oh, too late too late I already did it <laughs> so I'm just going to straighten that out it doesn't need to be perfect because we can always refine the shape and stuff um, when we finish that so it doesn't have to be perfect I like to do it as well as I can, but it doesn't have to be. I'm gonna brush off all that dust, and since we've already prepped, we want to clean the dust again with a lint-free wipe, just to make sure that we don't 
have dust on the nail. Okay, so that's how they look. I'm going to add primer and dehydrator. Just on the nail, not on the tip or anything. So before I do anything with the colors or anything, I'm going to apply clear base. That's what I do on myself, that's what I do on my clients, because it's a good habit to get into. It just makes it easier for when you want to do a fill so that you can file back down to it. And then you don't have so much color left behind. Like I've got some of this yellow and stuff. I didn't have a clear base down. So I got yellow left over on my nails, which doesn't look pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply just a small amount of the Glitter Bells glass slippers. Annoying, I just spent a good 10 minutes trying to scrape dried acrylic out of my brush. I, ac I accidentally left my brush with some acrylic in it. So you can see all these frayed pieces here. I can, like I've had this brush for a really long time and I've seen worse. So I'll probably be able to fix this, maybe. But. Luckily this brush is so big, I'm just gonna mostly use this side of the brush, so just ignore this like ugly side of the brush. Let's go in with our clear base. Okay, so picking up a bead, placing it near the cuticle area, cleaning off my brush, and then going right in. I just wanna quickly get this on, blend down. Okay, I'm just gonna apply this clear base on all of these nails. It doesn't have to be thick, it can be quite thin. It's just to help you when your client comes back. Okay, so while my clear base is drying, I'll show you some of the colors I was thinking about. Okay, I'm thinking of using Poison Apple, which is kind of like a brownie red pumpkin. This is a uh, really pretty glitter. So I'm just gonna open these up. And then we got Star and Nice like a coppery color. Then I was thinking liquid gold and sugar honey, which is a loose glitter. Thought that would look nice too. And then I also have this Peterbell Soft Shimmer. So I thought if I wanted to incorporate a little bit of a lighter design on the nail, I'd use that. And then we of course have our feature butterflies. I'm thinking of adding gold foil too. So I'll pull that out just in case. Cause this gold foil has kind of like copper in it, which would be nice to use, right? So sometimes when I'm doing nails, I just like to wing it. Don't really know what to do. So, Sometimes I'll start with my feature ring finger if I know I'm gonna add crystals, which I probably should. So let's do this nail with, I'm gonna do like a fade with a couple colors here. I'll do the dark poison apple at the tip. So I'm gonna place that down, clean off my brush. And then I'm just patting kind of gently pulling this product down that tip. And then I like to flatten it. And really clean off the sides. So this is really thin. Maybe I'll make this a three nail fade, I don't know. 
Now I'm gonna go in with star and anise and stick it right here. Clean off my brush and then I'm fading that down. I don't wanna fade it all the way down, just a little bit so that we still have that dark color on the bottom. I think I want a little bit more of that up here. And I'm just spreading that. This doesn't need to look like anything right here because I'm gonna cover that. Blended that, huh? Looks nice. And now I'm gonna go in with the liquid gold at the cute cool area. Not much. Place that down. And then I'm just gonna try to get my cuticle area looking good before I fade that. And then I'm just cleaning off my brush and fading that down. Pretty. So I can leave that nail as is. I'll encapsulate that. I really like that. I don't think it needs any glitter or anything. And we're gonna add some crystals on that nail. That'll be pretty. Let's work on the butterfly. So on this nail, I think I'm gonna do the soft shimmer, soft peach ball, soft shimmer at the cuticle area, okay? Try to get my cuticle bead nice before anything else. We'll worry about the design in a second. Just like a wash of that over top. Super thin. Okay, now I'm gonna dip into all three of those other colors and just drop that on the nail, clean off my brush, pick up a little of that Peach or Bell Soft, and I'm just gonna pull, not really a marble, I'm just pulling the colors through. And I'm gonna make it kinda look like the butterflies are bursting out of the tip, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna, go in with the pumpkin glitter and just pick up a little bit of the sugar honey on my brush like this. And this is gonna go along that line. The sugar honey has a little bit of pink in it, so it's kinda got like that rose gold touch slightly. Really pretty. And so this is gonna sp like spread that glitter out a little bit so it's like sparse and not in one chunk. It's kinda spread out. The bottom looks interesting because it kind of pulled those colors together. Now let's go in with some butterflies. So I'm just gonna place some clear on the nail and then pick up the butterfly I want and stick that into the clear. Ooh, cute. So um, you're gonna have to like try to flatten your butterfly using your brush Sometimes I just use my finger to push whatever I'm trying to flatten down. So sometimes I have to do that with flowers and stuff. You really want this to be flat. This butterfly won't flatten. I'm gonna bend it slightly. Got one butterfly. Let's see, do we have small butterflies in here? This big orange butterfly, will that fit somewhere? I don't know. Maybe not this nail. Cute! Why are these butterflies so cute? Okay, I really like these big butterflies, so I am gonna put one up here. Okay? I'm just gonna make that work. Oh, 
Okay, so pretty. I love the butterflies. I definitely want to use more of this glitter and the foil. So maybe on this nail, we'll do more of the glitter and foil. So I'm gonna go in with Star and Nice as kind of a base wash. Especially want this to look clean around the cuticle area. And then I'm just pulling the rest down because this doesn't need to be perfect. Just at the cuticle area is where I really care. The rest I'm just dispersing down the nail. It doesn't matter how that looks. Okay, so now that that's on, I can go in with the glitter. So I'm gonna go in with the pumpkin, put that down and kind of spread and blend down. Okay, and then I'm gonna pick up sugar honey and put that on the bottom. And blend the two in the middle. So that's how that looks so far. Uh, I obviously need more butterflies. So maybe the pinky, I'm not sure. I almost forgot to add foil. I definitely wanted to add this foil in. Foil just screams autumn. Okay, that looks really pretty. Okay, I definitely need more butterflies though. So, um, I'm just gonna see what it, oh. I'm just gonna see what it looks like if I hover a butterfly. Ooh, okay, butterflies look cute in that nail too. <laughs> Let's add them. Okay, so on the pinky, I think I want more of the um, Peacher Bell Soft Shimmer. So I'm going to apply that at the cuticle area again, bend my finger downward. gonna use some of the I think I'm gonna go in with liquid gold kind of fade that into that and then fade this down the nail a little chunk let's get rid of that chunk there we go Liquid gold is so pretty. I think I wanna, now that I just saw the liquid gold and then all these gold foil, I'm gonna put more gold foil in this set. <sighs> Cause it's so pretty. I think I want to add some of that sugar honey, just messy in there too. Cause I really like this pink, it's really pretty. Pretty. Okay, butterfly time.
Yeah, I'm just kind of picking whatever I think will fit. Before encapsulating, this is how they look. To encapsulate, I'm going to be using my Glitter Bells glass slippers. When the nails are this long, I like to encapsulate the tip to start. And then I'll work on my cuticle bead in a minute. So we're going to finish file these so it doesn't need to be perfect or anything, but I like to try to apply them um, nice and even so I have minimal finish filing to do at the end. Okay, so it's really warm in here right now, so my acrylic is trying to dry fast. And it's really warm because of all the lights I have. Okay, so I have to work a little faster, so I like to work around my cuticle area get that encapsulated and then pull the rest in and blend and then you could just build that up if you need to after you've got that on it I don't want to make it too bulky so I'm gonna place this right here So now I'm just building up the tip a bit more. And then blending and fading that down. Okay, so I'm gonna encapsulate the rest of these. Okay, so here is how they look after they've all been encapsulated. Encapsulated. So I'm gonna finish file these. I have an A-file here. I'm going to turn it on like, there. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go around the cuticle area to debulk that to start. Then down the side, over the tip, up this side. Keep the majority of the bulk in the center of the nail. Now I'm gonna take a hand file and I'm just going to hand file. So I like to file my side walls. And then when I want the tip really sharp, I go up and down to hold it in place so it doesn't feel odd. And then I just go around. So I'm kind of just going one way, see? And then I go around the cuticle area. Avoid the skin so you don't irritate it. And then I just file the tip thinner. And I kind of leave this area alone for a little while. I mostly focus on thinning out all this area before I work on any part of my apex. And now I'm just gonna go over that area. I'm 
Okay, so here's how they look. Just gonna dust that off. I'm going to use a buffing block to buff the nails. Okay, so you're gonna wanna make sure to remove all this dust and cleanse the nails really well before the next step. Okay, so for crystals, I wanna do these like pinky ones. So I'm also gonna use these rose gold circles. You can get these from Family Beauty Box. And these little caviar beads, I'm gonna use my base glue to glue the crystals on. I'm just gonna do like a design like that. Stick the circle down, and I'm gonna, I like sticking crystals inside the circle. This circle's sticking up quite a bit though. So these are kind of like a vintage rose color, I think. I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but they're really pretty. I think they go well with the set. Okay, I really like the way that looks. So dainty and pretty. That's all I really need for crystals. Maybe like, yeah, I don't, I don't know if the set really needs a lot, you know? It's so pretty on its own. I'm just gonna look to see. I mean, crystals never look bad. <laughs> gonna add one there. Okay, so I think I'm happy with the way that looks. I'm gonna top coat these with my Glitter Balls No Wipe Top Coat. Okay, so here is the finished set with the cuticle oil applied. I love this set. It's so pretty. It's probably my favorite set I've done in a very long time. <laughs> I'm gonna be sad to clip these off. Um, I really, 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 really like the butterflies. What do you guys think? The whole thing I like. Like, I could just stare at these forever. I'm glad I didn't overdo it with the bling too. I feel like this is the perfect amount of crystals. I really like this nail too. Wow, they're so pretty. Yeah, so I love this set so much. I hope you guys like this set. If you did, let me know down below. Share with someone who you think would enjoy this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell next to be notified when I post. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.